the first annual House League Awards. The first award that I will be giving out to will be the recipient of the endorsement House Coon Award. Now let me explain this, ladies and gentlemen. This first award goes to the person that endorses, you know, somebody they got, they got a lot of money. You know, somebody that is rich, that's a billionaire. You know, somebody like I will endorse. Well, I'm going to give this award to no other than Richmond, Virginia, Pastor, Minister, Steve Parsons of Richmond, Virginia. You have to see the first thing. Steve Parsons. You know, I, I really thought he deserved the award, man, you know, because he endorsed Donald Trump. You know, like I endorsed Donald Trump. You know, I mean, I, I seen him on Fox News. Did you see him on Fox News? I mean, great interview. I love it. Great. Steve, Steve Parsons. I, Um, okay, for this second award, we'll be giving out the Uncle Tom Endorsement Award. Now, the Uncle Tom Endorsement Award goes to Dr. Ben Carson, Republican. You know, let's give it up to Ben Carson. I mean, you know, he, he's my typical black guy. That's, that's, I like the guy. You know, I you know I think he should be president too as well uh, as Trump. You know, but I, I like kind of being I like a lot of stuff being said. You know, he said he don't want the Muslims to come in the country. You know, so I I feel kind of being what being talked about. So and being black just like I'm black. So you know I'm I like what being talked about. So well, Ben, you are the recipient of the Uncle Tom at the first annual House of Negro Awards. I think it's ludicrous. Why? Because we have to make up our minds. Either we want to have segregation or integration. And if we don't want segregation, then we need to get rid of channels like BET and the BET Awards and the Image Awards, where you're only awarded if you're black. If it were the other way around, we would be up in arms. It's a double standard. So you say there shouldn't be a BET channel? No. I don't think so, no. Just like there shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, we're Americans, period. That's it. Are you saying there shouldn't be a Black History Month because there isn't a White History Month? Exactly, exactly. Uh, Al Sharpton has... Uh... So I feel that she deserves the sellout award. And thank you, Stacey Dash, because you sold out your whole race, just like I'm doing. We don't care. Let's do that.
she used the American award because she says she's not African American. She's not a part of Africa. She's an American. She loves the United States. She doesn't see herself black. Just like I don't. I don't see myself black. I'm actually, I actually grew up around a lot of white people, you know. So I don't really see myself black too much. <laughs> I don't even know what chitlins and pork actually really taste like. <laughs> Oh well, but let's give it up for Raven Simone, ladies and gentlemen, that's a Raven, the American boy. Thank you out there, ladies and gentlemen, for watching the first annual House Nigger Awards. If someone that you didn't like received the award, just feel free to contact me, Daryl Cracker, and I'll put them in a the category and see. Yeah.